mortes. <laughs> okay, transcripts on, <laughs> recording on. <laughs> Are we on? <laughs> yes, we're on. Okay. I think I need to refresh. I see us. Nine. Nine. Hey everyone, it's Friday. I don't look so thrilled, Madeline. <laughs> okay, I found us. <laughs> Yay. I show 15. Yes, 15. Twenty-one. We're getting there. It's so funny because my numbers don't match your number. On my Facebook. Looks right. like let's get that straight. <laughs> Thirty three. You're not interested. No. <laughs> She's not Jules. Jules wants to watch. You just she's want to be helped. Yes, she's got her ears back. Hi, Cheryl. What are we at? 43. We're getting there. Oh, look, not only you're watching. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, William. Nice to see you. Nice to see everybody out there. We're getting there. Hi, Adele. 48. <laughs> Fifty. So, <laughs> so it is Friday, and um, we are doing our usual Friday, getting ready to close the page for the weekend. Couple of updates, not many. Simple evening. Whatever questions you have, we'll answer your questions tonight. Um, what do you want to start with? You want to start? I'll start with this week's winner for the giveaway is, and I spoke to her today and got her permission to announce her name, Dottie Crescenzo. I had a lovely conversation with her earlier. Dottie, you are a lucky winner. Thank you so much for your contributions. And we will be sending this t-shirt out to you shortly. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's next? What you got next? You yeah, want to talk about the video? So what did you guys think of the second video? <laughs> I thought it was great. I love it. I think it's oh. great. Yeah, I didn't I didn't submit my baby picture. You didn't submit your baby picture yet? No. <laughs> yeah. Now we gotta come up with another idea for the third one. Joe's like pumping these out. I'm like, really? We could put a little bit more time in between them. <laughs> what if we what if we tried to focus on the younger retirees who are under 65, but that they're on Medicare due to disability. I love it. Okay, great idea. Um, so we'll go total opposite. If you are a retiree that is on Medicare due to disability, you're under 65, um, the same as before, I'll post the link again, I'll do a little video and, and just make sure it's, it's focused just on that one thing so it doesn't get lost in this. But if you're watching tonight, and um, great suggestion, Madeline, if you are under 65 on Medicare because you're disabled, whether it was line of duty or not line of duty, um, send us your information to photos at NYC retirees.org, that's photos with an S, P-H-O-T-O-S at nycretirees.org. And um, send us your photo from when you started the job, send us a photo 
of you today. Uh, let us know what agency you work for, if it was line of duty, your job, your title, whatever, how many years you were on the job. Um, if you anything else you want to share with us, let us know. Um, and then also let us know how old you are if you want to let us know that too. And then uh, Joe and I will work on putting together the next video. Um, that's a cool idea because that shows, um, that definitely shows the differences that you have people who are on Medicare due to disability and those who are just because of age. Um, Another piece of information that might be helpful is if those under 65 Medicare eligible people have non-Medicare eligible family members, then that would represent the split funds. That's a good point. Um, yes, because we understand uh, from a lot of our retirees, if they have younger family members while they are on Medicare, especially if they live outside of New York State, they are having trouble finding doctors. Um, so also let us know that uh, as well in your message to us. That's a great, that's a great point. Um, it's, it's interesting because how many unions don't realize that exact issue? Um, and speaking with that with several of the unions this week, not only did they not realize retirees were having problems outside of New York metro area. I said, well, do you even realize that GHI is being denied by even physicians providers within New York state? Like, <laughs> or even aware that this yeah. plan is being decimated from within inside. Um, well, that's because administratively they don't conduct themselves properly. They, they're very late in making payments. Their reimbursement schedule is woefully outdated. They're using 1983 reimbursement rates. So no, doctors don't want to deal with non-paying and low-paying insurance company. Yes, and so if administratively they were held to the fire a little bit better than they are, then our uh, New York City employee retirees wouldn't be in this situation. And this is a problem with there not being a, a good competition because if there was competition between the plans, it would require them to be a little bit better than their brother, right? Like you'd wanna do a better job to get more of the market share. They don't have to worry about it. They pretty much monopolize everything. So they don't really care what they lose. It'll just go to another part of their sister company or whatever you know, plan, but. Oh, I see a message posted by George Roman. That's very concerning. My sister-in-law has Medicare due to line of duty injuries. She is under 65. And she thinks this does not affect her. George, yeah. she's wrong. Tell her she's wrong. Any hey, George. Medic yep. Tell her to call us. Tell her right. message, message us. She could speak to the three of us at the same time if she'd like. Um, we will educate her that that absolutely includes her. A hundred percent. Yes, I, I see that often. I I'm see sorry, that I'm just often. going to clarify. She was a New York City employee. That's the only thing I want to clarify. Correct. Yes. So if she is a New York City retiree and she is under 65, yes, it absolutely affects her. Yes, because they're in this group. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Adele Wilson, they should include New Jersey. They don't want to pay them either. Mm -hmm. It's it doesn't matter what state the doctor is in, it's happening, I'm in Florida and it's happening here, they, they don't wanna pay. Um, so it doesn't matter where the care is being given, it matters that the source of the money is the problem. Yeah. Yes, George, thank you. And just prime, if, if, she's, if you're with her this weekend and you, and you wanna see if we can get in touch with her, just private message me. Um, and we'll, we'll connect. Oh, Mike Rowick. I'm out on LODI under 65 and can assure you that it affects me and your sister-in-law. Yep. Yep. And for those that don't know what LODI means, it, it's we, we dub it LODI line of duty injury. That's what LODI stands for. So. Uh, thank you, Mike, for, for putting that in there. Uh, 
we'll, we'll, we'll educate her. Don't worry. We'll, we'll be gentle. <laughs> But again, it's not uncommon. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, somebody asked the same question. So again, it's not uncommon. And even well, till the day. You know day, why? I'm going to tell you why that's, that's like that is because in the early days of this garbage, the city put out a letter saying if you're over 65 and on Medicare, they didn't even remember people that are younger that are on Medicare. So mm -hmm. we had that in our own group, Michelle, if you remember in the early days of this thing before we started this, was right. we had our own members going, well, I'm under 65, this doesn't affect me. No, no, no. This, right. These right. are people who are not educated that wrote this that have absolutely no idea that, that, that medic people who are under 65 can be on Medicare. And, and they're the ones that are making the decisions. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yeah, and the scary part is like even, you know, Claire Levitt from OLR is supposed to be highly educated and I, and I don't understand, I don't understand this. It's, 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 she gets paid. She gets paid a high job, a high amount of money to make a business decision. There's no, <laughs> that's what it is. It, there is no, yeah. <laughs> Ann Elterman, didn't expect to see myself in the elders video because I didn't have an early picture of myself. Joe took my Facebook picture and profile and he put it in the video. <laughs> Crying. Thank you, Joe, into the group. Another donation on the way. You're breaking my bank. Uh, sorry. Um, don't break the bank, you know, but um, but we appreciate we appreciate <laughs> we appreciate you and everything you're doing, but don't break the bank. Um, we wanted to make sure that you guys knew uh, that your, your value to us, your importance. We wanted you honored, showcased. And I think too, when people make a decision about you or something that'll affect you, they're not seeing you. They're just seeing a number. You're 250,000 retirees, but they don't know who we are. Make them look at you. Um, trust me, make them look at you. Make them know who you are, so that way they'll look at they'll they'll have your faces ingrained in their brains when they're going to make that decision that's going to harm them. We you know what we should probably look see if we could get someone to donate us like some of those electronic billboards or something in Manhattan or when you're stuck on the bridge or something, <laughs> right? Like. Like uh, going over by the uh, the Long Island Expressway, going into Manhattan, or coming up the tunnel. There's got to be a, a mobile bulletin board or a, a moving one of those moving bulletin boards, like in Greenpoint, right? Over by the BQE, isn't there like a moving bill billboard or something? They're all over. They're all over. Yeah, like that. That would be kind of cool. Okay, Barbara, I'm a little insulted. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> So I'm going to say the first hello to you, Bob. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so just for clarity, because this confuses people, my name is Madeline. I am the treasurer of the organization. On Facebook, uh, I am Carla Barber. The reason for that is I never had a Facebook account. I didn't want to go onto Facebook. But some people forced me to do this. Uh, to start. Yeah, you did. So I said, well, I don't want to use my first and last name because um, I don't want people crawling out of the woodwork, like high school friends and stuff. So I said, oh, I'm going to use my middle names. So that's me, but those are my middle names. Very good. Very, very good. Um, um, did you want to talk about Mondays? Yes, I'll talk about Mondays. So um, it is summer and we're noticing a little slowdown on the board. Um, last summer, we were really quite busy. <laughs> but this summer, we're kind of in a lull until the September term and we are working on a few things. So uh, what we decided was to uh, close the page, not just for weekends, but throwing in a Monday. That way we can all get a three-day weekend. The moderators can get a three-day weekend and we can take a little bit more time off that we're not giving ourselves. Because we do know that come September or August, September, 
we are going to be busy. We do know that documents will need to be filed by both the city and us uh, come uh, the middle of July and then again in August um, for both cases, actually both appeal actions as well as um, the state action that we filed two weeks ago. So, um, so we just want to let you know that if anything happens, anything breaks, any news that needs to be told, we will break open the page, make the little post, you'll get an alert if you're signed up to follow us and and everything will be fine. We're not just gonna like leave you hanging. Um, but we, we do recognize that we do need some more time off and, um, and self care is totally important, right? Ladies, <laughs> uh, yes, and so yeah. it's a good way to say it, yes. And um, uh, I think I got my first like nine hours of sleep last night, which was very good. Mm -hmm. And- Tell me, how uh, was it? How was it? Cause I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, it was induced by, Cute little colorful. <laughs> she didn't ask you what caused it. She asked you how it was. It was wonderful. <laughs> it was wonderful. Um, but yes, uh, uh, we do notice that we are needing needing a little bit more of a break. And I think it would be healthy for everybody too to um, go, you know, try to take a day, spend more time with your family, get your nails done, get your hair done. Um, Whatever it is, that I don't have mine done. <laughs> um, do something for you. Uh, take a day off. Go out. Go do something. You know, play play with your hobbies again. Do something. And then if something happens, note that one of us will open the page back up and make sure you're aware of it. And um, and and we'll go from there. But for right now, the page will stay open from Tuesdays to Fridays. And then once the summer is over or anything starts to happen, we'll keep it open. So. Um, but thank you for understanding about that is um, I'm sure you can imagine that this is a, a lot for all of us and um, and we could definitely use a little bit more time, especially since it is summer and it seems like you guys are also doing stuff um, as well now because the page traffic is slowing down so okay. might as well take advantage of it while we can. <laughs> yes. Right. I mean, we do work in the background, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, but yeah, over the weekend. <laughs> Just, yes. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, you know, again, it'd be good, you know, it, it's an all around everybody gets an extra day. So we don't have to wait, especially since there's no holidays really coming up. So, yes, but again, know. yeah, you know, it's just, it's summer, it's summer you know so but again like marianne said you know anything breaks don't worry those that are not on facebook the the email blast will go out anyway the page will be flipped open you know the the word will get out yeah i'll put the email out tonight uh to, well tonight or tomorrow um depending on how i feel tonight and um which will be this video i'll also put a link to joe's video from that po joe posted today um, we also want to send that one out too, so that other, um, other groups have it. So I want to share that it will be up on YouTube, both of these, the ones that Joe posted today of the elders, and then this one, um, and then, uh, and then, um, oh, so the other thing is thank you everyone for, uh, volunteering for that night out against crime that's going down in the 13th precinct area. Um, please stay in touch with Laurel. Um, that is really important. She will be coordinating the um, the the group there. She's, she'll make sure that there's a table and chairs for you guys. I did send out flyer of um, an email to uh, Lisa Lauren for flyers. If Lisa, if you need help, look back on that post and coordinate with the other ladies and ask them to print off a bunch for you as well. Um, and and then that would help too. I did get another email from uh, Lisa, another Lisa, um, hold on. And she is also, there's a similar event that I would love to help get uh, some volunteers to help her out with as well. Um, Lisa did post it and it was from Councilman Holder's office. And for some reason I'm not finding it right away. Oh, here it is. Okay, so 
This event will be held, it's Councilperson Robert Holden, the 30th District in Queens, which is Glendale Middle Village, Maspeth. It is a free concert in Juniper Valley Park. Hey, my bus used to sit there. Did your did, did you work your did you work um the time forty six? My my truck used to sit in Juniper Valley Park. Um, I did, but I was I sat down way down or up in Jackson Heights. <laughs> so okay, so Juniper Valley Park. She says she has a volunteer from his district. Do I have a volunteer from this district to go with me to the concert and do our thing? Um, everyone is invited. Let's meet up with the council person, Councilman Holden, and I need him to be on our side. We definitely need him on our side. So far that they, that office is listening to us. So please reach out and, um, and, and meet, meet up with Lisa. Um, it's a, it says it's a Rolling Stones tribute concert, July 14th at 7 PM. Reach out to, uh, Serena, Serena Mia. Um, Serena will help coordinate with you about going there, and I can also email you guys out the flyer that we were using, or I'll upload. I, I know there was, the, we didn't upload the one that we used at the rally, right? We need to upload that one. I, I'll do that. I think that's in my drive. What, the, the, the small, the triple one? Right. It should be, because I have a copy of it. I downloaded it off the Facebook page. Okay. Yeah, Joe has it. I have it too. Yeah. Um, so so there's that one, and then there's the one with the tear-off strips at the bottom. So feel free to go into files and, and find the one that you like. If we don't see it there, one of us will upload it or just ask us for it. You got a little time for that when it's Thursday the 14th. Uh, right. Send an email to the org address and I have it in PDF uh -huh. and I'll send it, I'll send it to you. Perfect. So that was the one other one thing that I did forget to mention. Um, sorry, Serena, I, 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 did, I did see your email today. I've just been swamped. Um, but those are the two, the two messages for the events. Um, and it's kind of cool because there's either a concert or a DJ and there's hot dogs and hamburgers and ice cream and, and then there's elected officials and you've got time to you know rub elbows with them and talk to them about this and pass our information on and, and um, and that's uh, wonderful too. So, Joe just messaged me that the flyers are on the media page on the website. On the media page on our website. So nycretirees.org. Go to the media page. Um, Denise, or is it the press page? Uh, he texted media page, so I don't know. I will look. Go ahead. I think that I'm going to look while doing I'm that. I'm looking. Yeah. You, you talk. <laughs> <laughs> Denise Rickles, um posted an interesting post. I don't know if this is something you are concerned about. This week I was looking for a new internist. It's very difficult to find an internist taking on new patients. However, when I called Lyle Cornell for an internist, I was told that internist do not accept new patients on traditional Medicare. They wouldn't tell me the insurance that they do accept, but not traditional Medicare. I wonder if this is something other hospitals and practices engage in. My question to that would be, were they aware of what your secondary insurance was or what your supplemental was? Because it might not have been the fact that it was traditional Medicare, it might've been the fact that it was Emblem Health GHI Senior Care. That's the issue. So I'll wait to see. Um, but no, I, I've not heard of. of uh, it depends. Cause like, I know, I know like Mount Sinai and I know Langone for new patients for like GYNs and stuff, regardless of what the secondary is. Like they don't participate. Some doctors don't take new patients that have Medicare. Right. Really? It, yeah. It's, it's because like when I was looking for docs down in New York city, because I can't get like good healthcare up by me because I live in the sticks. And um, yeah, like when I was scrolling through, like some said, you know, they don't take new patients on Medicare and some do, some don't. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's especially in New York city. It's, and like the bigger, the bigger ones, it's weird. I'm not, I've never heard this. 
I'm, ju I'm just telling you, I've seen Langone, I've seen a mix of doctors at Langone and yeah. Yeah. And it's not um, every doctor, it's just, it's a mix of doctors. I'm just, I'm I just, that's cause that's what happened when I had to find a, 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 a GYN. Right. So. The only thing I can think of is that they do not like the CMS reimbursement rates. Then they're not Medicare, then they're not accepting your Medicare. Then they're not a Medicare doctor. If that's the situation, then they're not a Medicare doctor. So that needs to be clarified. It, it's not that they're not taking your secondary, it's that they're not accepting Medicare. So then that means that they're not a Medicare provider. And if they are saying they are a Medicare provider, they're just not accepting traditional Medicare, that makes no sense because the reimbursement rate is higher than Medicare Advantage. Oh, I don't know if it has to do with what Gwen Mill is saying. Yep, Michelle is correct. I, again, somebody else goes to Will Cornell, but like I said, I've seen a mixed bag with Langone. It's, yeah. Well, sometimes doctors do max out on the number of patients. You know, like they'll say, I'm only taking X number of patients that are in traditional Medicare. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be interested if you would send more information on that about that doctor's office to our board email. Um, Michelle and I and Madeline can take a look at it. And um, matter and of fact, I got to go to Lingo next week, so I'll ask them when I go to the doctor's office. Yeah, so send that information to us, um, and uh, and then we'll, we'll we'll inquire as to what that means. Same thing with Diane, same thing at Mount Sinai. Not all doctors take the Medicare. Right. And so, so that's there there is it was I think the 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 number that gets tossed around is like 94% of all doctors accept Medicare. And right. they said that um of that six percent that don't, four percent are psychiatrists. So it's two percent nationwide of physicians that, that are that are medical practitioners that do not accept Medicare. We do know that that exists. Um, so maybe that's that situation or maybe it's something else, but let us let us kind of help you take a look at that because I'm right. interested in getting to the bottom of that, to be honest. Right, and Jean Iannuzzi said the payment yeah, is probably tilted too much to Medicare and they're likely trying to balance it and they're not obligated to take new patients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not that they're not taking Medicare, it's that they're just not taking new patients. And that could be also, remember remember as well, it's not because they're not accepting Medicare, it's probably yeah. more likely that they're not accepting more patients, period, especially if your situation is like what I'm seeing down here. Not only are restaurants and stores and physicians' offices are having trouble with staff. So they can't make more appointments than they have people able to help run their facility. So that, that I'm right. going to say, we've got a couple things in the mix on this that are, are causing more of an issue. Ellen says, most of my doctors are at Langone. I've not had a problem with specialists. I can always find someone there who will accept traditional right. Medicare and senior care. Yeah, I, I'm going to kind of lean without even, I, I'm just going to lean to the fact that it's possible. It's going to be a staffing issue, you know, with this COVID garbage still still dragging on and, and, and there being issues with people coming to work. Um, but but for whoever, whoever it is having that situation, um, ping us with that information. It, this would be a good thing for us to clear up for you. Again, it's probably a mixed bag you know no new medicare patients and and denise it could just be because they're top heavy like jean said with medicare people they need to offset some of the higher paying insurances and that just makes sense yep so so can we get medicaid or is it special for special medicaid george is only for people who are of low income that would meet those benchmarks if that is you um, then that is a possibility for you to apply for. You would need to look that up on, on CMS's website to see if you qualify. So does anyone have any other questions? It's just after nine. George says no. So I'm going to assume that means you're not low income. <laughs> 
haven't heard of Medicare doctors at Langone are not taking senior care, but many will say that they're not taking new patients. Yeah. That's also part of the road that led us to this crisis. GHI now responds to stockholders. I don't remember that that having anything to do with Governor Cuomo, Ellen. I honestly don't. I know that happened. We were talking about that. Well, we were talking about the merger in 06, but that I'm not familiar with. Lisa Lauren, here's a hospital Medicare issue. I just got a bill for $9,500 for a procedure in radiology. It turned out that the nurse practitioner who did the procedure is not yet accredited in the Medicare network. Um, I would go back to the facility that you had the test done in. And the hospital should have made sure that that was done or it should have been billed under someone else in the practice's name and then handled internally. So that is going to be a billing issue. You will definitely need to handle through that facility and let us know how that worked out. That should not be on you, by the way. Gwen, I'll look that article, uh, I'll look, I'll look up that article uh, after the chat. Um, Cuomo made GHI a stock holding company. Again, it's not jingling any bells for me. <laughs> I have absolutely no recollection of this. <laughs> Do you have any recollection of that? No, no me neither. Okay. Thank you, ladies. So I'm done, I think. GHI yep. is no longer a nonprofit, and the union leaders on the board are in definite cut. So, William, I, I know we had talked about this before, and I know that, that you had filed some things on that. Um, if you would put on your calendar next week to call, call and follow up on that. Um, and, you know, I would call and follow, follow up on that. I know, I know that they don't typically, thank you, Ellen. What, well, so when Ellen sends me the info on GHI, William, I'll send it to you. And then, um, uh, so Ellen, what, what William is referring to is that there's several members I'm sure you're familiar with that are on the boards of Emblem Health. And uh, it was, was an opinion that it was potentially a conflict of interest because they served on the board and that, that they were also involved in the negotiations and potentially some of the voting. And even if they abstained from voting, it's still, it's still believed to be a conflict. Um, I'll send you something on that. And as soon as I, William, as soon as I get Ellen's info and she and I chat, I will forward that to you as well. And then just follow up, you know, with that other office next week. So. <laughs> Ellen, you read my mind. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, I mean, like we're all like with mental telepathy. This is scary. We definitely need more time off. <laughs> no. George so says, it, so, so it says that, right, we are closing this Monday, right? Yes. Okay, so that, because it says it is certain. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Have a wonderful weekend. Long weekend, ladies. Thank you, ladies, for all you do. Well, well, Sherry, thank you. Um, and actually, Sherry, I think I needed to, I think I PM'd you about doing a video with me regarding co-pays. If I did, just look at your, um, look at your PMs. I think I messaged you today. Anyway, um, that's all I got. You guys got anything else? No, that's it. Once again, thank you. No, I'm always going to need my magic eight ball, man. That's yes, I always need my magic eight ball every day, <laughs> even off camera. <laughs> there you go. PM is private message. <laughs> check your messenger or and check your message. If, if we're not connected and I don't remember if we are, I might have private messaged you. So check that too. Um, if not, private message me. <laughs> But again, thanks to everybody, Joe, the moderators. Thank you, everybody out there for donating. We appreciate it. Yes.
and um, uh, head over to our YouTube page. I know I sent the link to that video to share with your friends um, uh, to the YouTube that he, the video that he created. So um, uh, if you need the link, just uh, if it's not on our Facebook page, just go over to YouTube, search search in the search bar the name of our organization, NYC Organization of Public Service. You'll find our channel. You'll see tonight's video. Um, and you'll, well, you'll see the video of the elders and then probably tomorrow you'll see this one there and you can share that one as well. So that's the story. I got nothing else, right? You good? That's it. You good? guys enjoy the long weekend and if anything breaks, we'll pop open. If not, have a good one. Yeah, yeah. Love you guys. Mwah. Ciao. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Have a great weekend. See you Tuesday. Peace, people. Oh, yeah. And moderators, if you're listening, you have off Monday. That's right. <laughs> you're off Monday. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. -bye.